This is the Factor O2 that I have literally just ridden in the Taiwan KOM Challenge upon. And on board, it has some of the lightest light. parts available. We've got lightweight wheels, we've got THM components, and I've got the Shimano Durace DI2. Well, mine came with SRAM Red ETAP. Mine came with Durace. <laughs> Mine's going to be lighter then. Hang on a minute, not so fast. You went for those bling painted wheels, and I've gone for the nude carbon. So I think mine actually stands quite a good chance of being the lightest one, to be fair, mate. So the only way we're going to tell this is having a way off. Go on then. Hang on a sec. You guys, you guys have got to wait before we do this. Firstly then, what is the Taiwan KOM Challenge? Well, I shall tell you, it's a 100 kilometer race, basically uphill. And we're currently standing, or crouching, at over 3,000 meters above sea level. Yes, we are very, very high indeed. <laughs> indeed. Right, so the frame, the Factor O2, is actually made just down a 100 kilometer descent, that way, on the other side of the island. Hmm, it's 750 grams, but that doesn't tell the whole story at all. Now, Factor are one of the few brands that actually manufacture their own bikes. And in doing that, it actually allows them to have a far more complex carbon layer, or so they say. Now, what that gives is ride quality and less weight. Yeah. They also, Matt, use some quite exclusive M55J carbon fibres in there from Nippon Graphite. They certainly do, mate. They do. Looks nice too, doesn't it? It does. I mean, I really like it, but you could have given it a clean. Now, speaking of lovely, Matt, let's move on to the wheels. Lightweight Milan styles. Now, I actually first noticed these being ridden at the 1996 World Championships, and they've been pretty sought after ever since. But it's not really hard to see why, is it? They're, they're super stiff, and they're weighing 1,100 grams for a 47.5 millimeter deep section clincher. Yeah, a deep section clincher. Yes. Now, they managed to get there through advanced material selection, and also the way they're built. So they've got carbon spokes, and they're actually bonded onto carbon hub flanges, and then the rim itself. I don't know about you, Matt, I definitely notice on steeper gradients, that's where ultra light wheels do come into their own, don't they? They do go, don't they? But yeah. They certainly help us out today. Yeah, they look nice too, don't they? Uh, especially mine, with that uh, rather glorious white finish to them. Next up on our list of superbike components come courtesy of THM Carbones. And we actually have a world exclusive here. Literally, those handlebars have never been seen before anywhere. They haven't. They haven't. But we can tell you a little bit more about the stem, which is the tibia. It's just 80 grams. 80 grams for a stem. And it's mega stiff too. And then let's have a look at the brakes. We've got THM fibula brakes for each wheel, weighs in a, a mere get this side, 120 grams, and then look at this rather beautiful THM clavicular SE cranks, 293 grams. 293. To be fair though, we still needed compacts, didn't we? So we're running 3450 chain rings, and that's paired to an 11 to 28. And I don't know about you, mate, I used every single one of those gears, and I was almost literally begging out loud for another one. So did I. Yeah, tell you what though, they look nice, don't they? Even I mean, they look super nice. Even spattered with mud. Yeah. Oh, look. I want to touch it. That's mine, that one. Do you mind? Sorry. The saddle, a fabric ALM Ultimate. One piece carbon rails and shell that was originally developed with Airbus, apparently. Mm. And Matt, you seem to have painted that one white as well. Or got it white, anyway. Yeah, yeah gone for a white one. Now, the weight with these, 140 grams oh. only. Now, let's look at the gears. Simon, you had Shimano Durace Di2. I did. I had SRAM Red. Now, we didn't choose the group set specifically, it's what both bikes came with. Yeah, could we complain about them? No, absolutely not. Both at the top of their game. The key differences between them are that SRAM is wireless, whereas Shimano is wired. Both, of course, are electronic. And also, the way you actually change gears differs. So on the Shimano gears, you use your left hand to change chain rings and your right hand to shift up and down the cassette. Whereas on SRAM, your right hand changes into harder gears, your left hand changes into easier gears. Mm. And to change the front mech, you tap both levers simultaneously. Both Shimano and SRAM have the loyal fans, but for the weight wieners amongst you, the difference in weight, 150 grams lighter for the SRAM ETAP. <laughs> Now, 
What about these final finishing bits then? Well, Matt's using Shimano pedals. I'm using Lukio blades. We're both rocking Continental GP4002 tires in a 25, and we've both got our Wahoo Element Bolt head units on. Right, the time has finally come. Which of these bikes is the lightest? Oh yeah. Now, Matt, I think yours has a slight advantage in that it's a size smaller, yep. and you also have that SRAM ETAP. So I do wonder whether actually it might be yours. Although we need to mention I've got a bit of a paint penalty because I've opted these rather bling painted wheels. It's true, actually. You have sacrificed speed for style. Mm. Go on then. You ready? Let's do this. Right. Just actually, hold down a minute. I'm trying to take my bottle off. Good point. And oh, just take my wahoo Good point. element bolt off before we do all that. Right. Right. You ready, mate? I can probably and do this with one hand. Right, let's see, let's see. Right, it's 6.24. Come on then, baby. Let's weigh this bad boy. Right. You ready? Here you go, Si. Have you got, you've got, any, got enough strength left, mate? You sure? Not really. All right. Ready? 6.18. Eight. Oh my word! Yes! Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. White it's the paint. Smoke. It's the paint. <laughs> oh, paint. I knew it. Sorry, just, just I leave knew it. it. Just leave, See, leave. it's that light, Matt. Oh. All right, so I can see it. Your bike is marginally lighter, but we're going to put this to the vote. Which bike do you like the best? The white one or the blue one? You can vote just up here. That's blue. right. Blue, blue, blue. The choice is yours. Do you go for performance or bling? Right, do also make sure you get involved in the comment section down below as well. What do you think about super duper lightweight bikes? Is it your bag? Are you more of an aero person? You can't not like these, can you? It is definitely my bag. I've a climb at this site. It's been, it's been amazing, really. It has. I've been thanking the Lord for every metre climbed. Definitely. Yeah, do also make sure you subscribe to GCN as well as getting involved in the comment section. To do so, just click on the globe. Now for another uphill weight-based video, how about clicking just down here where me and Dan put that to the test in Andorra. Yeah, or how about this one, an archive one, an oldie but a goodie. You and I, Matt, testing out how much difference a lightweight bike does actually make on a climb. We went deep on that there as well, didn't we? We did, yeah. Don't forget to like and share.